What's going on everybody? Coming back at you again with another video. Man, it is that time. It is October. It is time for Halloween. This is my favorite time of year and I just love this season more than anything. So for the Halloween season, we're going to start off with my buddy, my pal, my confidant, Mr. Freddy Krueger. But it isn't what you think. And not only is it a statue that I'm doing for you today, but there is a little twist to it and you're going to have to watch the video to find out. But whatever you do, don't go to sleep because he's around here somewhere, I think. We're running loose or whatever like that. So one of the drawbacks with an FDM printer is your prints don't come out as good as a resin printer. And sometimes you have like these undercuts like this 
um, that look really, really rough. But I'm actually going to use this to my advantage because I want this thing dirtied up and everything. Uh, even right here on the piping and all this, I'm actually going to use that to my advantage and paint like rust up underneath there and just some gunk and stuff. I kind of want to dirty up really good and make it that more creepy looking. Uh, I got this all the way around it, but again, uh, I'm going to use that and create a really cool effect on it. So now that I got the glove done, I will actually go and put a couple of black washes on this to bring out the details a little bit better. And as you can see, Freddy's bloody hand on this side. And then I'll just uh, maybe do put some little dry brushing on it. I'll also put some silver in there to kind of look like the metal is scratched up and everything. But it's coming out pretty good. Also took and uh, did a little bit of dry brushing, a little bit of weathering on Freddy's fedora. Again, uh, creepy looking as possible. And I got the shading done on the legs. I will actually go and put a wash on this as well and do a little dry brushing on it to kind of weather it a little bit further and it will be complete. All right, so with the base, now that I've hit it with some of the rust effects and it looks pretty dingy and grubby and I've done a wash on it, actually a couple of washes, and I painted the vines in, I'll go through and I'll just start doing a little dry brushing on some of the highlights with a little bit of lighter gray just to accent it a little bit. And all this is gonna do is just kind of bring the light out in the piece. Uh, we're not gonna get too crazy with it because again, this is a supposed to be a dark, horrific type of uh, base for me. And so we're just gonna kind of accent a little bit. Don't go over overboard with it and uh, it'll really make it uh, come out and pop with some of these colors. So one of the last parts of this is masking off the sweater. I've got my marks here and now I will just use some Tamiya masking tape and uh, I will mask this thing off and so I can get the green painted in. So now I have the masking done on the sweater and I'm ready to spray it on the green. The one thing to remember is if you are hand brushing this or airbrushing, make sure you put on light coats at a time. That way you don't have any bleed through or bleed under the tape. Uh, that's a big thing right there. You will just be having to touch up uh, a lot of stuff if you uh, have that happen. So here it is with the green and we're getting ready to take off the masking tape. And then I will proceed to weather it. So here's the sweater, guys. Um, turned out really good. I didn't have any bleed over. The tape held up well. And now it's a little too clean, so it's time to get a little dirty. And this is what the sweater looks like once it's weathered. Uh, did a little airbrushing. Um, did a little bit of uh, dry brushing and kind of dirtied it up a little bit. And now it is ready to put together, guys. I've been away from my children for far too long.
All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, man, I don't know if anybody else is crazy enough to do this or has done this with a project before, but I had a good time with it. So if you're not a subscriber yet, what are you waiting for? So until the next time, everybody, 